what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crown Call and try and get with me, I can't care right now I'm busy, I don't stay that money Or so niggas hate, I keep the glizz in my What's going on, y'all? It's Lauren K. We here at Talk of the Town And who's here today? D. D. Yeah, yeah, see, off the intro, the we had a, one. exactly, we had a little talk about his nickname, his nickname D, but he had to give it to y'all to introduce. So okay. let's start off, where you from? Charlotte, North Carolina, West okay. Side, though. Okay, how is yeah. it out there? Shit, it's great, it's just like, I feel like it's like any other city, you feel me? It's just like, static, you get, you get wicked, mm -hmm. but nah, it's not like any other city, because we don't got a lot of like, you know what I'm saying, New York, like, I come out here and shop and stuff like that, right. but down there, there ain't really too many stores, you okay. feel me? So yeah, that's... Do you see yourself staying there like your whole life, or you wanna get up out of there? Mm, nah, I might get up out of there. I really, nah, I say, I say, I see myself being a rapper. Like that's home, but like I wanna be traveling, like right for sure. Okay, do you know where you wanna like? Yeah. You about to retire? What's your? Where's your dream house at? Shit, fuck retiring. I wanna have that shit while I'm working. Like it's just like you know what I'm saying. You know how like I don't know. It's like a like outskirt of my city called like Lake Norman and okay. like big ass mansions. Oh. On the lake. Honestly, I've never been to North Carolina, yeah. like walking. I've only went through it. Through it. it. Yeah. You feel me? But yeah, it's great. Okay. It's great. Niggas so. Niggas jet skis. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, Sorry. like jet skis and shit and boats. Like the whole, mm. like be lit out there. So. In North Carolina? In Charlotte, for real. Yeah. You watch? You ever watch Baddies of the South? No. Let me tell you. Bad Girls Club, I used to watch it when I was younger. That shit gives uh, me anxiety. I was going to say they room. just had a show. Every girl be watching that. But they just I had don't. a little. They, it gives me anxiety. Yeah, for sure. Too many, too much, too much <laughs> too stuff. Too much. My blood pressure raises. Nah, for sure. But they just did a little thing in Charlotte, and they was on okay. the lake in the air. But I just thought, you can't. So they got jet like, skis in the lake. They got yeah. something by Kings Plaza over here that they be jet skiing. Yeah. But I think it's crazy to jet ski. I ain't jet skiing in New York. Water. Yeah, that's crazy. What's in the sharks? I don't know what y'all got. Who knows? It's deep. That's like, actually that's the problem. Nobody it's deep knows. Waters. Yeah. yeah. We don't got time for that. So how did you start music? Uh, it's always been like a part of me though. I don't know how I started it. You it just, just always had a love for it. Yeah. So when did you start to take it serious? Like, okay, like this is what I'm gonna do. This is uh, what I'm gonna pursue. Around like 15, 16. So like 2019. Okay. So yeah. what made you take it serious? What sparked that? Uh, my big cousin and was taking ser taking it serious, mm -hmm. and I was like, damn, I wanna do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was just right. that really just gave me the you feel me, and mm -hmm. then it's like. Like, I ain't stupid. I know that I was going to get the most, like, like I thought I knew I was going to get attention just for my age, being right. so young. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doing shit that niggas, like, three years, four years older than me doing. So, right. that was, like, my introduction. So, being that you feel like your age gave you an advantage, how do you feel now that, like, when you look uh, at the scene? Because everybody's kind of young yeah. now. Yeah, it is, for sure. I mean, it did what it did. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you feel like it's competition for you, or is nah. it on some like, all right, like we all young, we all getting it? Yeah, right? I feel like it's all we all young and we all getting it. But I feel like me starting so young helped me, right? Because now I'm like developed like yeah. a little bit, so now it's like I'm ready to take off. Right, and crazy. by the time you get to that age, you yeah. gonna be set. Yeah, and even then, like I feel like when I blow up, like my old music gonna blow up too. Like I was in Audio Mac today with mm. Bro. And oh, that's man. fire! And Shout out just, Audio Mac. Yeah, for real. And we was just listening. He was listening to all my music. He was like, whoa. Like, he was That's fucking fire. with it. He was like, I like your old music, too. So yeah. That's fire. So sure. who influenced your sound? Who influenced my sound? Yeah. Like, who um, are a couple artists I like, I like, I don't know. Like, a lot of people, like, I ain't going to say a lot of people, cause, but it's like a lot of dope people in the okay. world. Like, you so me? who you did you listen credit. to growing up? Shit, I fuck with. All right, so growing up, growing up, it was really like Boosie and Gucci. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Having big brothers and shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? I could definitely hear that in your music. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And then by the time I got, like, you know what I'm saying, a little bit older, where mm -hmm. I got my phone and I'm picking what music I'm going to play. Right. I like Young Boy, I like Lil Baby, I like okay. Gucci. I mean, I said Gucci, I like uh, Future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. So, how would you describe your sound to someone who has never heard it and never heard, like, your influences? What are some words you use? I really can't even describe it, but I just say Young and Turn. I was just, literally about to say turn. Yeah, turn for sure. Young and turn. And it got a little bit of like realness to it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know the word to describe the realness yet. But it's going to come like, you know what I'm saying? Like reality. Raw. Reality too. I feel like very raw. Yeah. yeah, raw reality. And it's like relatable. Mm. A lot of people can let it, relate to it. I know some niggas up here that can relate to it. Yeah. The whole world really can relate to it. 
So when you make your music, do you like like is that intentional? No, nah, I wouldn't say it's intentional. Okay, so how do you? What are you making music based off of? Like how me? You feel I just that feel like I'm that. Like you got to really know. Like I just feel like I'm that nigga. Okay. I don't feel like I'm better than everybody. I don't feel like I'm better than. Them. I just feel like I'm that nigga. Like I know what it is with me. Right. So it's like that's what I give off. Who I am. Yeah, that confidence is definitely mad important. For sure. Your confidence also comes off in your style. One yeah. thing about you, you gonna have that shit on. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. So were you always into fashion? Yeah. Okay. I was always into it. And then growing up, like my mama couldn't always like afford shit. Right. But if you look back at it, like when she always kept me like matching and fresh, you know what mm. I'm saying? But it Very was like it got it became like, you know what I'm saying? Like like if you see back in the day, like when we go take family pictures, mm-hmm. when she got it, I'm gonna mm-hmm. be fresh. But it's sometimes where we went without having it too. Right. So yeah. Like so and that's what made me want to get fresh because it was a lot of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it's like she put it in me, she a fresh ass nigga, but she, she got like Period. five kids. <laughs> She can't even make all of us be fresh. I'll Calling your mother a fresh ass nigga. She is a fresh. Mad <laughs> she she flawed up. I fuck with it. Okay, I period. definitely got it. And then my bros too, because they got bros like seven years, ten years older than me. Mm, okay. So it's like they was a big influence. They Everybody probably like the you. biggest influence. Mm. For real, for real. So outside of the people that you knew, like the older people that you were growing up around, um, are there any people that are in the industry uh-huh. that influenced your style at all? Uh. Not yeah, I mean you could say that because like you influenced by who you listen to. So then right. again, future little baby young boy stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Future do be having that shit on, bro. Future. He do. Oh, you talking about fresh dressing? Yeah. Oh, who? If, okay. See, oh, honestly, that's what, that was the question. I thought that you had picked up what I was putting down, and then you said it. So I'm like, okay, like maybe they're yeah. both sides. Yeah. Okay. So but dressing wise. Dressing who wise. You? I feel like dressing wise, yeah. I got. I feel like I got my own style. Okay. Yeah, really. It's really, but I can't. Even, I don't even want to tell you the secret formula. But it's mm. really about color. You definitely co- can't give out the source. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. Right. I, I was gonna tell Thanks. you, but it's all about. I'm gonna tell you one day on the camera. I know. feel like give us a little, a little sprinkle. A little, sprinkle? a little sprinkle. Yeah. It's about the colors. Mm. You okay. know what I'm saying? And okay. it's about matching. You okay. know what I mean? And it's about how clothes fit. Okay. That's really important. Like so color, high fit. Fit. Color fit. And yeah. He put y'all on. A lot of y'all be having And some then you know what I'm saying? And then you on. can get fresh without having designer. Cause I was fresh before the Amiri sweater. Go to my fact. Instagram. I was wearing bait. I was wearing dicky outfits. I was wearing you know what I'm saying? I yeah. just now started getting thousand dollar shoes and stuff like right. that. Literally. It's definitely not about the name. I feel like it's if not. you could Put it together, like you said, the colors, the yeah. fit. Like, if you look nice, you look nice. Yeah, I just went crazy yesterday in a Nike fit. Period. Put it on the ground. Like, they was loving it. I don't it. know. Nike be a little a little pricey it, it sometimes. Gotta, it could get it there. It could. It could be It sometime. could. Sometimes. <laughs> they do sometimes. They be tripping. So, do you feel like in today's time where, like, social media is so big, what do you think is more important, image or the actual music that you're making? I say it go hand in hand. Okay. Like, it's like on some hand in hand, like talent and work ethic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just how it go, like, hand in hand. Um, so, but some people got good music and don't really talk like that and they still show right. like good music. But I was going to talk more about the people that are on the other side of that because I feel yeah. like some people, they have the look and the music yeah. is like, eh. trash. Yeah. Yeah, or it's like, yeah. I, maybe yeah. I could get jiggy with this. Yeah. So then. But because they look good, they, they just do well. It. Exactly. Yeah, that's 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 a plus. Cause I ain't gonna lie, like you go, you would be saying capping. I'd be saying capping if 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 I'd be saying people don't. Some people don't like you because you look good. Like, right. Hey, if you attract, you're gonna attract. Yeah. For sure. So. But definitely hand in for hand. For sure. But if you can, if you can attract people, which is your natural God given look, mm-hmm. and you got a good talent, music, yeah. like that's shit crazy. That's oh, a that's, fact. that's inf- that's influ- influential. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a fact. So I know your birthday was not too long ago. Mm-hmm. What's your sign? Virgo. Virgo. Okay. Yeah. Our CEO's a Virgo. Kobe's a Virgo. Big Virgos. Yeah. So what did you do for your birthday? Uh, we went to Atlanta and we just turned up bad. Got a big, a big ass Airbnb. Okay. And just turned up bad. Like I don't know. Like we went to different clubs. How long you stayed out there? I stayed out there for like four days. Okay. Yeah. That's calm. That's calm. Yeah. I did notice that you travel a lot. Yeah. So, what has been? Where has been your favorite place that you've gone so far? Uh, New York. 
Really? Yeah, this is my first time. This is your first time? Yeah, everywhere I travel, I've been there hella time. Okay. So it's like, I've been to Cali. Okay. Came home, been to Cali. Right. Been to Atlanta. Came home, been to Atlanta. Right. Been to Miami. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But my, like, this is crazy. Like, I ain't never seen no mall this big. Okay. I ain't never seen, like, I went to really? sex field. Hmm. No, I went to sex field, and it's like, bro, y'all don't know how easy it is for somebody to be fresh down here. Okay. So, in my city, I'm full of, might be the freshest nigga right now. Just off of coming down here and just buying right. a drip, because y'all got it all. Right. Like, I can't go down there and go find no bomb main jackets. How y'all got yeah. the bomb main jackets? Like, that's yeah. crazy. Like I think as far as moles go, I'm really surprised that you said New York has, like, great moles. Because yeah. I thought, I think that as far as, like, stores go, like, yeah. the Gucci store, Louis store, we got those. But yeah. as far as moles, I'm really surprised, given that you be in Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. That you feel like we have better moles. For sure. Because I that's go in Atlanta, you go in the mall. When I go in Atlanta and Linux, I go straight to Pier. Okay. And that's just to get jeans. Right. I ain't buying, I ain't really, then you go to that Gucci store, you're not really going to find too many garments. Or you go in there, they don't, I don't even think they have a mirror store. Mm. Do they? Do they got a mirror store? I don't know. I don't, they don't got a mirror store. Atlanta got a mirror store? Nah. Nah. It do? Oh, and Phillips? Ah, oh, mm. so it might do. Okay. It's weak though, like yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like you might you gotta go down there and go in the stores and you are gonna see like this ain't the Gucci that yeah. I can go buy in here. Like so, what's one place that you would love to travel? Like where's your dream destination? Uh, when I when I like get rich, rich, I wanna go like Paris. Mm. I wanna go overseas. Okay. I wanna go like like beautiful like islands. I wanna go to Italy too. You know how like the Italy shit be looking like? I don't okay. know. I want to go the, to Italy. The buildings? You know how it's like, I don't even think them buildings, it's like rocks or something. But it's like houses on the rocks. I don't know. You Damn, I don't know. Yeah, yeah you, might, you might not Honestly, know. Honestly, social studies was never my strong suit. Oh, too. God. Hell no. Nah. I really <laughs> learned Italy from, you ever watch Cars, the last Cars movie? No, I have not seen the last one. For real? I watched the first you one, the- like, regularly. The second yeah. one, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. When they, That was Italy, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Y'all jacking Cars 3? Oh, Bro, that came out 10 years ago. I was a little boy. That came out. You, that mm. came out a long time ago. Not a fan. I'm definitely not a fan. I ain't like cars like that either, though. I had a little <laughs> car in bed, though. You know okay, so about? what was your favorite kid movie? <laughs> Why were you on the topic? My favorite kid movie gotta be. I don't know. I always been grown. Okay, so you was like young watching like yeah. Boys in the Hood. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. I've actually never seen Boys in the Hood. For real, it's a whole. It, I don't a even like Boys in the Hood though. Of black movies that I haven't seen. We'll talk For about real, that yeah. It's actually a little insane. I like New Jack City, but I don't like how it ended. It ended real weird. You didn't watch New Jack City? You from New York? Oh my god! <laughs> Y'all, this is crazy. I'm telling you. You gotta go watch that today. You got so much stuff to watch, and you're gonna be you gonna like it. Okay, so let me tell you what it is. So, a boy that I was messing with made me watch Belly my junior year of college. So that yeah. was like three years ago. And after I watched it, I felt like. I didn't need to watch this. Yeah, you ain't. I, I, I don't felt know. the same way about the wood. The only I the only reason this. why I watch the only reason I watched the wood and probably belly now is because I watched it when I was younger. I completely agree. Yeah, and I remember like certain stuff. Like yeah. Yeah, I feel like in 2022, my first time seeing it. I don't it's, think yeah, like it's too it, late, maybe. Yeah. It's too late, but I might I go back on it just because I watched it before. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So, what's three things you cannot travel without? Uh. Gotta have a toothbrush, but you can buy a toothbrush anywhere. You right. Know what I'm saying? Gotta have some money. That's the most important thing. That's definitely the most important thing. And gotta have, like, you know what I'm saying? Gotta be safe. Because nowadays it's like, we ain't safe for niggas who getting money. Yeah. I'm actually very surprised you didn't say your phone. Oh, I need my phone. You That's a part of me, though. Phone. That's like my ear. Like, I can't go nowhere without that. Nah, it is. 2022, <laughs> it definitely is. Yeah. So we're gonna play a little game. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna ask you which place has the best, uh-huh. and then you're gonna right. let me know. Okay. So the first one, which place has the best food? Mm-hmm. Oh, I gotta just pick it. Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> I like chicken and waffles in okay. uh, Roscoe's chicken and waffles. From down south or California? California. Okay. Clubs. Clubs. I like Onyx. Which one? The one in my city. And I like Magic City in Atlanta. Okay. They got, like, pretty strippers. Okay. Yeah. Which place, city, state, whatever, has the best girls? Best girls? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. I mean, when you be traveling, who you be seeing? 
<laughs> I hope you see it. Nobody. Okay, you plead the fifth. <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> okay, the best malls, even though you just got into this. Uh, the best malls, uh, New York for sure. Okay, the best vibes. The best vibes. I love Cali vibes because, like, when I'm down there, and same with New York, uh, but when you in Cali in Miami, it's like you just see so much luxury. Mm. You see, like, damn. Yeah. Just to even uh, hopping on a plane and going somewhere. That's just the vibe. Cause yeah. I remember the shit getting on a plane with some shit like. Yeah. That shit was not normal. You like turbulence? You I, don't, okay with I ain't turbulence? never really had turbulence before. Really? Mm -mm. All that traveling you do, you never experienced turbulence. Mm -mm. You never been on a plane while it was raining? Not really. God bless your soul. Because that so. is a scary sight. I be feeling I like think I did. Fest. No, I don't know. Mm. I don't remember. I hope you never have to experience that because I'm not a fan. Where so, you was flying to? Um, I was coming from Orlando. Uh -huh. I was coming from Orlando. It was pouring and I And it was flying rain. where you took off at? Yeah. It See, was raining. I ain't it it never, I never been at the airport and we finna take off and it's raining. Mm, I, I was never. praying and I went right to sleep because I couldn't deal with For it. Real? I was anxious. Mm -hmm. So which place has the best fashion? Fashion. Like, not what you could buy, but, like, when you say, like, okay, New York dressed this way, Atlanta dressed this way, North Carolina dressed this way. A lot of y'all be first down there. Okay. New York? It's surprising. I but y'all got the most wait, people. Surprising? Yeah, like, I'm walking, you see a hundred people fresh as hell. Why is that surprising? Because where I'm from, you don't see a hundred people fresh as hell. Let me rephrase that. 300, 400 in one area. Okay. And this, There's a lot this, of people. This, we in the mall. Like, this is mm. one area, and, like, I see... A lot of people wearing Gucci, Louis, Burberry. Like New York is prideful. That's what it is. Yeah, they just gotta just, show everybody that they put that shit on. That's dope, though. I like it. It's a vibe. That's a vibe. I like it. Okay, maybe because yeah. I grew up in it. It's yeah. just like, huh. <laughs> oh God! So you grew up in it, so it's like you yeah. know what I'm saying. Okay. You used to it. I definitely understand that. Yeah. Okay, so last but not least, which place has the best music? Music. Mm. Charlotte, cause I'm not, nah, I'm playing. Uh, I say, shit, you gotta just if we being like real, like real realistic, like some realistic this shit. Opinion. Yeah, I we gotta say, you. I gotta say like Atlanta. I agree. I gotta say Atlanta. I agree. As much as I, I think New York is going crazy right now. Yeah, I they think going Atlanta crazy. Is just so impactful but New York, like globally. New York, the mecca. It's the home. Like, y'all had y'all time. So, I mean, I ain't going to say y'all had y'all time. But it's like, every, <laughs> it's a lot of cities that's shining at one time right now. Because New York's still going crazy right now. Memphis Absolutely. still going crazy right now. Jacksonville, Memphis Florida. Memphis going stupid. Stupid. Jacksonville, Florida going stupid. Yeah. Uh, Who else going stupid? Atlanta going stupid. How you feel about California right now? Cali? You th I think they're kind of quiet right now. Yeah. It is quiet right now. Yeah. I feel like everybody, everywhere else got it. Yeah. Live right now. Oh God. So, what is your recording process like? When you like, do you write? You smoke? You drink? Like, what's that like? That whole I, process. I can really. I right, when it comes to smoking and drink, smoking, like it's really like something I can or can't have. Like it don't matter. Okay. Like I can. Like if I'm smoking and it's shit. We smoking. We vibing. But like, right. save the studio. Say I can't smoke. Then you cool. just, I'm chilling. You feel me? It might okay. help me. Stay up better, cause getting high might make me want to go to sleep after you feel me. I do one song, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. And then with the recording process, like a couple of years ago, like I used to like um pay for my studio sessions and like I ain't have a lot of money back then, so it's like I used to write before I go. Okay. But since I got signed, like literally no cap, since I got signed, it's like I I just no pen, no pad, nothing. Mm. I just go in. Uh, you freestyle it. Yeah, wow. basically no That's pen, no fire. pad. I just punch in. And do you feel like the work is better that way? I just asked the boy, how do you make that way? Uh, he said, yeah. Because it's okay. like, you not, you know what I'm saying? He was like, it's, it's better. I think so. Because okay. it's like, you not thinking. Okay. So do you feel like you freestyle better sober or you freestyle better under the influence or something? It don't even matter. That's but I freestyle fire. better when I'm not thinking. Mm. Like right now, me and you talking right now, I'm probably thinking like a motherfucker. I might try to, you feel me? But mm. say we was in here vibing, like when we first walked in, y'all had a beat on. Mm -hmm. I had a freestyle. Just, just go. Just snap. Okay. So what's your favorite type of beats to rap over? Like, you like the real trap beats, drill beats? Like, what's... I like, I like trap beats. Yeah. I like, uh, like vibe beats. Okay. Yeah, I like, like, Louisiana beats too. Mm. I'm, I feel like I can not point out a Louisiana beat. For real? Yeah, like, if you played it, I it don't know. It got a lot of, uh, 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 
got a lot of like, <laughs> like I can't even pronounce it, but it's like, but it got a lot of boom in it, and then okay. it got like it's gonna have like a, you gonna hear it, okay? You gonna, but you up here, so you don't know. Honestly, I can't even name you like a recent yeah. Louisiana artist. I feel like yeah, it's Kevin Gates, but I want to say he sound like Louisiana. He from yeah, he from New Orleans. Mm. Young boy though, young boy, you can hear. He from, oh, duh. Young boy, you can hear he from Louisiana. Yeah, though. I agree. Yeah, I definitely for sure. Do. And oh, Labusi, they okay. sound alike. Yeah, that's probably why I feel like I like bro so much because mm. I grew up on bro, and it's like he hard. Like yeah, that too. He that not, they not they two different artists though, mm -hmm. but like like you can hear like the Louisiana shit for yeah, sure. Yeah, facts. Okay, so are you listening to New York Drill right now? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, like it ain't in my playlist, but I might watch it on YouTube and see it on Instagram and go fuck with it. So you feeling it? You not really? I fuck with it. it. It's a vibe. Are you feeling? Are you into New York music at all right now? Like it ain't in my playlist. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna sit here and lie like that. It ain't in my okay. playlist because. We're not so used to, like, the drill. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So how do other places view the whole drill music? I mean, yeah, I think New York big as hell. It's a lot of people from in my city that move from New York. Okay. So it's like, it's niggas who fuck with the drill. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rob 49, ain't he from up here? Who? Rob 49. Mm -hmm. He not? Louisiana. What? Bruh, that nigga sound like he from New York. Hey, I sound, you I just thought, put me on, because I don't even know I thought he was a drill rapper. He he not. Nah, it is. But don't that sound like some drill though? Yeah. That yelling is drill. The audience said it's down south drill. It's down south drill. I thought bro was from New York. I swear to God, okay, I, I would have bet money on it. Hmm, I gotta look him up. <laughs> nah, look him up. He, he got a little, he got a song with little baby. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I do. know who it is. I know one of his songs. Yeah. Oh, Make okay. that ass clap. Oh, yeah. the TikTok song. Yeah. That nigga don't okay. sound like he from New York. Um, no, not at all. Actually, I'm used to putting bitches on their knees, nigga. They don't sound like no New York <laughs> shit. That's what you think New Yorkers be saying on the track. Yeah, that's what you think we. You get wanna fuck with. a Boston? Fuck with me. Wow. All right, you like that? I like that y'all attitude. Like it's like that greedy. Like okay, okay. so here's what we're gonna do. Yeah. I want you to do your best New York impression right now. All right. Yo, son. <laughs> we up here, you feel me? I've been up here for like a day. This shit turned, son. Like, you know, my nigga Dusty. I was telling him, like, I don't know, son. This shit, man. It's like mad crazy. You feel me? I'm fucking with it. That was good. That was great. <laughs> I really got to get better, though. Like, You know what? You definitely get an A for effort. I'm not going to lie. You definitely, Yo, like, you could work on it. Yo, you but mad bugging right now. Nah, I ain't you mad bugging? They don't say y'all don't say mad bugging. Nah, what y'all say? Um, we might be like you bugging, but oh, you bugging? Mad bugging oh. is mad crazy. Yo, that's mad crazy, <laughs> son. So that's some false New York shit. They think I be thinking nigga. Y'all think we wear Tims and shit all the time? Like, nah. is that the perception? Nah. What's the perception of a New Yorker out of state? Like, what do you think of a New Yorker? Bro, my 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 grandma, and my grandpa from New York. Okay, like, that's my, lit. My first auntie. Like, you know what I'm saying? Before they moved down there, mm -hmm. like, she was born in New York. So, it's like, okay. and then, like, my, my big brother dad is, like, a New York, like, a real New York nigga. And fresh as hell. Oh, like, period. came down there and we had, like, his little section bump. You know what part of New York, York they from? He was from Queens. Mm, no okay. cap. But I don't really too much know about that shit, though. But he was turned, though. Like, like his style, like, he went, I don't know, Tim shit. He was fresh as hell, though. Okay, okay, period. I so, I know you're signed. Yeah. Congrats on that. You want to tell the people them where you're signed to? South Coast. Music group. That's right. Label. So what made you choose SCMG? Shit, it just was right. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like what he did for the other people that came from where we came from. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody made, like, again, like, ain't nobody made it where I'm from. And if you did make it, you made it from Arnold and South Coast Music. Yeah. You feel me? You got him, Tusi, you feel me? Me. Mm -hmm. So, Dusty. So it's like, why right. not? You know what I'm saying? Everybody he then touched and did something crazy. Sure. So have you worked with anybody else on the label? Not just yet. You want to? Or? I want to. Okay. But it's like, with bro, it's like, you just want me to like, show them people like, I'm hard by myself type shit. I, I don't got no problem with that. It. Like, it ain't like, I don't really be tri tripping or stressing like, oh, I want to make a song with somebody who I need to like. Mm -hmm. I'm focused on making bangers with just my name on it. But I right. I love to connect and make songs though, but it's just like, I ain't going to be 
bro, get a feature with him. Yeah. Get a feature with him. I need it. Yeah. Nah, that definitely it. makes mad sense. Yeah, I'd rather, like, develop on my own and make my banger. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. So, who do you want to work with in the future in general, outside of your label? Uh, I want to work with young boy, Drake, okay. the baby, future, uh, Beyonce, shit, Rihanna. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, uh, Are there any of the R and B girls right now that you would want to collab with? Because you know R&B. the R and B hip hop collabs are scarce right now. Yeah, they is real. Um, name R and B artists. Name like your top three. Um, Summer Walker, SZA, and LMA. Summer Walker, and all three of them. You like all three of them. Like okay, you make a song with any one of them, and like they go, they do up. what they do, and yep. then you do what you supposed to do. Yep, that shit gonna be crazy. That's a fact. No matter what, you be listening to R and B. Somewhat. You be singing it when you. When yeah. You, you be into especially it? the R and B that I used to listen to in the car when I was young. You be singing? Yeah, like, I love Mary J. Blige too. I know that's right. Yeah, Shout I love out Mary. Mary. That's on Team Monet. Yeah, I know that's dog. right. I, <laughs> I said that's my to, dog. I would pay money to see you singing "Be Without You." Like, For real, seriously. I think singing. that niggas that <laughs> are like singing. mad, like you know, nah. Once nah they I feel start like when singing, you singing, it's <laughs> like a whole nother side. Like, <laughs> oh god, I can't believe and this. You, is and nigga. you lame if you don't show it because like, what you trying to be so tough for? <laughs> Tell me cool. one more time. What, what are you trying, trying to be so tough for? That's not cool. Seriously, chill out. So, what do you do outside of music? Like, what are your hobbies outside of music? Uh, shit. shit. I like getting money, and I like getting fresh. I like playing. I like sports too. Okay, what sports? And then I like family. Uh, sports. I like basketball. That's okay. the only sport niggas really playing. Cause I ain't feeling nobody tackle me. You grown man. <laughs> you feel me? But we can play games. Okay, makes sense. Do you For play sure. video games? Yeah. Okay. Two K. That's it. And Madden and GTA. Okay. Yeah, and Call of Duty, but I ain't too much. I'm straight on it. I'm trying to get better. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> so, are you single? Nah. No. Uh-uh. Is is that her? Yeah. We love that. Your hair is late, girl. She in the building, y'all. So, has dating changed any since you like started making music? Nah, she was really with me before I started going crazy. Love that. Yeah. Down from the beginning, we I'm love sure. that. How has your life changed in general then since being in the limelight? And I'm like, I don't know, because it's like, I don't know, it's like, I made a buzz with myself when I was like 16, mm-hmm. feel me? When I just turned 20, you feel me? Okay. So it's like, I always was like, it's, I've been in a little, little limelight like, for a little minute, so it's like, yeah. I always just know how to just, just duck off, you ain't, you know what I'm saying, wait your turn, and don't be too much everywhere, because that's just not safe for you, you're not regular, like my mom and my people tell me every day, you're not regular. Yeah. Whether you know it or not, like I don't, I still think I'm regular. Do you move with security at all? No, I move regular. Like, in the city, I move by myself, mm. regular. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, but I move smart too. Like you know what I'm saying? You know, you know okay. where you like where it's like you feel me? If you gonna go over there, go. With some you don't folks. be nowhere. You don't got no business. Yeah, you feel me? So has it been? But I be the, everywhere though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. So you be nowhere, but you be everywhere. Yeah. I go everywhere I want. Okay. But I'm just not posted up. Just safely. I'm not. You're just, not outside for no yeah, reason. Yeah, I'm not outside for no reason. Like, if okay. there's some money over there, I don't give a fuck where it's at. I'm going to get it. Mm-hmm. But if it's on some shit like, oh, I'm going to just stand right here and just, just want to be, be seen. seen. Like, oh, I'm going to go to every party. Yeah. I don't even like going to the club no more. I was about to ask you, do you like partying? No. You like clubbing? Only on a special occasion and I'm going to get drunk. Okay, why? Because, like, that's when it's fun. You feel me? And then I don't really like to turn up all the time. Like, I'm the type mm-hmm. of nigga go to the crib, smoke a blunt, chill, get some money, and just chill. Feel me? Like I don't like turning up twenty four seven, twenty four seven, twenty four seven, twenty four seven. So what's your perfect outing? Like you got the day off. Mm-hmm. You went shopping yesterday, mm-hmm. so you're not going back shopping again. Mm-hmm. You said you don't want to do the clubs. What's like something that you would do? Um, I just got this crib. Oh, yeah. okay. Congrats to you. Yeah, so that shit was just fun. Like I'm still in the process, of, like lo- love being at home. Mm-hmm. And then I just decorated, just like like a young nigga, like a kid. Like my house is just like fun. Okay. We got a nice ass couch. Got a, like a little arcade room. Go upstairs. Got oh, a, another couch. That's lit. Got a game room in there. Like you know what I'm saying? Okay. So the arcade room downstairs, the game room upstairs. So right now I just like chilling at the crib. For okay. Some, right now, but that, it might get old in a couple months. 
I think it's definitely gonna get old because yeah. as we saw with the pandemic, staying yeah, home. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna get boring. Exactly. But right now it's fun just because it's new. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So how have you adjusted to the whole like not being outside for a long time thing? Like, I, was, was that I was something outside. that you did before? Is it a hard adjustment, easy adjustment? I was outside, and okay. then you got, and then what you might not know, but like I was in school during that time. Okay, and I graduated two thousand twenty one. So okay. that was Congrats. really Me too. in the pen. Oh, for real, you too. Mm-hmm. So that was really in the in the pandemic. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So the pandemic really. I, I, am I saying that right? Pandemic. Um, honestly, I think you're saying it right. I just think that your accent is kicking. For real. O D. O D. Yeah. But yeah, but it really helped me graduate. <laughs> if it wasn't for that, then I would have had to go to school all them days. Like I'm not gonna lie, that, that pandemic cheating me. was was crazy. What you mean? You on a computer? Let me Google that. Shitting me. And then you can have somebody your 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 friend gonna do it already. Yep. Go go ahead, and just take that picture send and send it pictures. to me. Because if Absolutely. you don't, you lame. Like what you want? You a snitch? You That's a narc? What y'all call snitches up here? Snitches. Oh. That's yeah. what we say, right? Snitches. Yeah, y'all niggas some rats, <laughs> baby. If you ain't sharing your homework, if you if you ain't sharing your homework right now, you a rat. Simple. I agree. I don't like the people that was stingy with oh answers. God, like, what you doing that for? What is you doing that for? Cause like, when I shine, you shine. We shine, we shine together. together. Like, come on. We all shine. Man. So, mm-hmm. being an artist in 2022, social media is super duper important. Mm-hmm. Do you feel obligated to show your personality to the media at all? Yeah, I don't feel obligated, but I feel like that's something I choose to do. And mm-hmm. I like doing it. Like, I was about to ask, is it uncomfortable for you, no, or is like, that just how I you like be? I like showing people who I am. Because what else you going to show them? A fake you? That's who. That's the only thing I can show. I mean, show. some people choose to be mysterious. Yeah. But I feel like I can't be mysterious. I mean, you can be mysterious, but like with who I'm trying to be, like, first I got to grab the people. Yeah. So they got to fall in love with me, and then I can right. be mysterious. Right. Once they already interested. Once you're Beyonce level. Yeah, once they glued on. Because exactly. now you can do whatever you want. You can be mysterious. You can't. You, all right, now, though, I got to be active. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So with you being so active, have you ever had times where it's like maybe you was a little bit too active? Maybe nah. you shared a little bit too much? or nah, you know what I, don't, I don't know, no, though. I don't post nothing personal. Okay. It's, it's, it's different. I show the media where I want them to see. I don't go on Instagram talking about, like, I got a. I don't talk about my relationship. Right. Like they don't know if I got a girlfriend or not. I don't okay. talk about. I don't talk about shit for real, but music and money. Like that's all okay. I talk about. Literally, like it ain't really nothing too much to talk about. I'm not on there finna argue with no nigga. Period. Yeah, like. So you don't watch comments at all. Uh, I do. Did I it laugh at them though, cause it should be. Mm. But people don't really like. You got my fan base out my city, and my city really show love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like they're really proud of me. I love that. But I came to New York and like it's like I graduated again or some shit. Really? Yeah, like my phone. Congratulations! I'm so proud of you. Aww. Everybody calling me and it just survived. That's real cute. Sure. So did you see that little baby was just um on Kai Sinat's Twitch? Mm mm. Okay. See that. What he yeah, do though? he just came on Twitch. Um, I well we didn't finish watching the video, but they was just watching shit, chopping it up. Um, how do you feel about Twitch? Like, is that something that you would do? I want to do it. You want to? For sure. Okay. So, do you want to collab with, like, any YouTubers, any people All on Twitch? Of them. Anybody, really. You would do those prank videos? No, I want to do no prank videos. That's okay. childish. I might do one, but they ain't nothing that I, like, videos, that's plural. If I do it, I'm gonna do it one time. One time, and that's so gonna you would be, do, and that's gonna be on one of my like on some vlog shit. Like if I'm okay, really, okay. if I'm a real life, like cause me and my like you got we young as shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We still playing throwing water bottles on you know, niggas when right. they sleep. Right. So that might be some shit I might really do. You know what I'm saying? But on some like we finna fake vlog, and some of them YouTube shits be fake to me. Like you could tell it be fake. You could tell it be fake. <laughs> so. Would you do okay? What type of prank videos would you do? Like, would you do the ones where like they playing your ops music in front of you type of vibe or eh, too much for that you? Shit is goofy. <laughs> and my ops trash. So if you playing that shit, then <laughs> you down bad. Okay. <laughs> no lie. It's not on no real rap shit. Damn, that's yeah. that's tough. Yeah. You listen to the ops music? No, nobody does. I don't even think they do. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> not nah, for real. Okay, so I really don't even got no ops. You can't said no even, you can't even make people feel important. Like I like that. Yeah, my. I like that. 
So what do you have moving forward? What's to come from D Youngin? Uh finna find some you feel me? Finna get on some tours, start doing shows, dropping more, just being more in their face. Like mm-hmm. I feel like I don't be in their face as much as I could. Okay. I don't post a lot. Like I before this this week I went like a month without posting. Mm, like really? Yeah. Maybe nah, I wouldn't say a month. Maybe like three, two weeks. But a little span, you know what I'm saying? I don't okay. I go times without posting. So do you be on just not posting or like you take social media breaks? Nah, I'd be on the ground. Well, okay. I'd be you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. And before we let you go, I just wanna ask, would you ever do like a fashion line? Your own fashion line? Is that something that you're interested in? Yeah, I want to. But I'm so like, I don't want no half ass shit. You feel okay. me? If, if you I do, do it, it I want to put it. my heart in it. Yeah. I want to be like, like, like how Rock was. Yeah. Like that was Rockwell big. Was you can't even cap. You ain't had, everybody got a little Rock Rail shirt. 100%. And they love family book. 100%. The Rock Rail, Baby dope. Fat, the Coogee. The on, definitely the Coogee. Like, that's a fact. So that's something. Like if I'm going to do it, then I'm going to put my heart into it. I don't want to just have merch and shit like that. Okay. Yeah. So tell the people where to find you. Find me on Instagram at D Young and Two Times. That's D E E Y O U N G I N N Two Times. So D E E Y O U N G N N Two Times. Right now, get it. He spelled it out for y'all. He made sure y'all got it. All right. Oh God. And that's a wrap. <laughs>